As Philly enters a new chapter with new leadership, Mayor Sherelle Parker has a huge issue to tackle, and that is drugs in our city, especially in Kensington. The new mayor says she and her administration, they are working on a plan here. And Jeff, you spent the day in Kensington. It is clear, it's been clear for a long time that something has to be done. Uh, Sheba, there's not probably no place in America like Kensington in the city of Philadelphia. The Parker administration has declared a public safety emergency, and it has clearing Kensington as a goal, clearing it of its drug abuse, of its homeless. But a trip to Kensington today clearly shows just how hard it will be. The streets of Kensington four days into the new year remain a place of open drug abuse where tents shield against the cold and the addicted writhe in agony. Nicole Mancini says she sells her body to live. I use PCP. Every day of my life. Every day? It's my medication. And why come to Kensington? It's the number one open drug organ. It's also the place the Parker administration says it wants to clean up a bold promise made by the mayor's new police commissioner on Tuesday. Here in Kensington, the reality is stark and painful. Needles lead at our paths, but let it be clear, this ends today. But clearing Kensington of its homeless and the near free flow of illegal drugs seems a massive task in a tour of its streets Thursday. Roz Pichardo, the leader of a Kensington anti-drug group, says services and housing are key. I've traveled the world. I've never seen anything like Kensington, and I hope that this administration can hold up to their promises and, and include us at the table. While the sidewalks are clogged with the struggling McPherson Park, known for its crowds of drug users, is nearly clear as a team of police toss debris into a trash truck today. Homeless for seven years here, this woman clings to hope. Of course it can be fixed. How? Anything can be fixed. How? Get these people in programs if they want to go. Housing. Low income housing, she says, a woman who tells us that she smokes crack and uses fentanyl. She says psychiatric care is certainly needed and a way for folks to try to get off the narcotics that is keeping them there. A team of police seem to swarm Kensington this day, trying to keep control in a community where control seems to have been lost a long time ago. On the Parkway, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Folks. Jeff, thank you very much.